In my continuing series on the Synology NAS, today's video will cover how to set up and use Tailscale on your device so that you can securely access your files remotely. I'm a big fan of Tailscale and I've been using it exclusively for my remote access needs for quite some time. If you want to know more about how to set this up, stick around for the rest of this video. And if you find it useful, please help support the channel by hitting like and subscribe. As security is a constantly growing concern, and whether we like it or not, it plays a huge role in our home network. We can no longer afford to forward a bunch of ports or use various third-party solutions to access our files or remotely manage our devices. Because of the security concerns we have today, I've used Tailscale since its release as it's built on top of WireGuard, which is not only secure, but extremely fast for a VPN, and it's really easy to implement some of the core features. By using one solution as my only connection to my devices, I can limit my exposure and reduce my threat surface. That said, I want to go through how easy it is to set up Tailscale on your Synology NAS and securely gain access to all your files that are located on your NAS, as well as managing the device if you need to get to it. To install Tailscale, just open up the Package Manager and search for Tailscale. Once you find it, click on the application to install it. After it completes, click Open and you'll be taken to the Tailscale website and asked to log in. If you don't have an account, you can create an account for free. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in and click Connect to authenticate your device. Once you've logged in and you're in the admin console, you should now see your device listed as an authorized device. In looking at the admin screen next to the device we just installed, we can see that there's an update available. However, looking at the package manager, there's no direct way of updating the application, nor does it support auto-update. To update to the latest version of Tailscale, we'll have to download and install the app manually. I'll post a link to the Tailscale package page that has all the downloads on it and has all the latest builds for a variety of different devices. And once you're there, you can download the package that is designed for your device. In my case, as I'm using the DS224 Plus, which has an Intel processor, I'm going to download the x86 version for Synology. If you have an ARM processor or something else, then pick the appropriate file and download that. To update or install the package manually from the beginning, click on Manual Install in the Package Manager, browse over to the file that you just downloaded, and select Open. Hit Next and accept a third-party application warning, and then select Done to complete the installation. When it's done, click Run to restart the service. Now if we go back and check in the Tailscale Admin Console, we can now see that the Synology is now current and on the latest version. Now that the service is installed, we should now be able to access our files from any device that Tailscale has been installed on and logged in using the Tailscale assigned IP address. To get to that IP address, log in to the Tailscale Admin Console and copy the IP address that's located next to your device. For example, in order to access files directly from my laptop, all I need to do is type backslash backslash followed by the IP address that's located next to your device into the Explorer window and all the files will come up just as if I was on my home network. This also works for many mobile apps such as DS File or any other mobile NAS application that you're using by using this IP address as the external IP address. Lastly, to prevent issues in the future and avoid having to reconfigure any, any of your applications, you can force Tailscale not to change the IP address. To do this, just log into the admin console and click on the triple dots and select Disable Xperia to prevent Tailscale IP from changing. The same concept works from a web browser should you want to do any remote management of your device. Just open up a web browser and type the same Tailscale IP address of your Synology followed by the port number and it should take you to the login page. You can now log in securely just as if you were on your local network. One thing I did want to note is that Tailscale is an overlay network which acts as a secure bridge from your device to another Tailscale device which means your browser will treat it as a, lo as a local site, not an HTTPS site. As with all VPNs, this is by design, as the encryption takes place between the Tailscale connecting software of one device to the other, given the appearance that you're on a local network, even though the tunnel itself is fully encrypted from device to device. For more information on Tailscale, I'll post links to their website, as well as other videos I've done on Tailscale. As you can see, it's pretty easy to create a limited Tailscale VPN that allows you unrestricted access to your files. 
I'll post a link in the video description to other videos that I've done on TailScale should you want to expand its use to other devices. Well, that's about it for today's video. And remember, if you find this video useful, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for other videos like this. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.